remember exactly how many touchdowns I've thrown in my career, but I, I remember the exact number of interceptions that I've thrown. And if I combine all those numbers of interceptions over college and pro, it's 202. Because you remember the, the screw-ups. You know, you just re, they're, they're so dramatic. Because, in essence, the team has given me the responsibility of, of doing something good, and then I did something bad. And it took me a number of years to figure out the secret to getting the team back on the field with a fervor to go believe that you're not going to do it again. Because you've just, in front of 80,000 people, messed it up. And so for the first few years of my career, whenever I would do that, I would go into this, 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 this uh, recitation of all the intervening and mitigating circumstances that had led to this thing. Because I certainly didn't do it on purpose. I didn't drop back and throw it to the other team like on purpose. I didn't, I didn't do it to screw the whole day up and make everyone boo me. That wasn't really my, what I looked forward to. But so I wanted to explain it. I had all these intervening things that had happened. I, you, the guy came free, the sun, the moon, the, the, the spa was wet, the, the, the guy turned the wrong way. You guys got to understand, I didn't mean to do this. And everyone would look at me like, they didn't really have a, they just, we just wallowed around. It wasn't until a day that I turned to them when I would throw another interception, because inevitably you do, and said to them right into their face, look, it's my fault. I messed it up. Now let's go to the sidelines, let's get a drink of water, rest up, we'll come back on the field, we'll go down and score, we'll win the game. We won't do it, that won't happen again. Inevitably, you got people charged because they recognized accountability. They recognized that, yes, at that moment, they needed accountability. Not mitigating and intervening circumstances to explain all the things why your homework was late or why the car, why you didn't get the job done or why you... Once you get a final foundation of strict accountability in your life, you can, I think you start to really, the ethics grow out of that. And I haven't thought about it enough. Maybe ethics go first and then the accountability. I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it. But I just know that when you talk about those elements, I learned point blank in that situation that I, if I am ultimately accountable for what I do and how I do it, and I don't look for intervening circumstances to try to explain it away, that I'm going to be really much more ethical in my behavior.